Hello, my name is Andrei Margeloiu and now um, I'm starting uh, the Masters in Advanced Computer Science at the University of Cambridge and I'm also starting this new video series because I want to do a weekly video in which I want to show and talk about my week's structure and uh, how demanding is this program and how um, uh, I do in this program uh, with the aim that uh, I give context to those who are intending to do this program in the next years and also I want to use this video as um, creating something called personal heritage in the way that um, I will be able to you know time box my thinking at this moment in time and then look um, back at this period in time um, uh, in the next uh, years and uh, I should be happy looking back. Now, uh, with this aim in mind, I do not intend to make uh, those videos very fancy and do much um, uh, video editing because I don't want to put that much time into them um, because it's not uh, the purpose of this video to be something uh, fancy. Now, with those aim in in aims in mind, I want to give a little bit of context about me, about what um, I am going to study uh, in this master, like what's my focus, what do I want to do next, such that you can have some context about um, uh, what's the motivation of my actions in the past week and in the next week, um, such that um, it, gets, it gets some context um, in the way. Now, um, as uh, a very quick background, I just graduated in computer science from uh, University College London, UCL, and now I am just starting this master's in advanced computer science at the University of Cambridge. Now, my focus in this master's is to um, study machine learning, so the courses I took, the project I took, and uh, my intention is to get better at machine learning. Now, uh, I want to do a PhD in machine learning after this course, so um, this should um, be the motivation for many of the action and the things that I put my time in uh, in the previous and the next weeks. And having those things in mind, um, I'm going to also tell the courses, which I am um, part of, um, and then um, I should tell something about the previous week and the next week. So this master's um, asks students to pick five courses um, that uh, they will learn across two semesters. And in the first semester, I'm learning about probabilistic machine learning, about digital signal processing and about image processing. And in the second semester, I will be learning about machine learning for programming and also about um, uh, advanced topics in machine learning and natural language processing. Now, these are the five courses. I'm going to um, assist to another course called Foundation of Data Science um, because I want to get a better understanding of the maths behind um, uh, machine learning and also a um, data course called uh, data science uh, which is mostly aimed to you know get a bird's eye overview of what um, uh, are the tasks and the possibilities in the data science world. Now this is all the context about uh, me during those videos and um, let's say what I did in the past week and what was my focus. Um, in the past week, we just started the course. Um, it was mostly uh, an introduction week with mostly uh, meeting the classmates and getting to know the computer science lab and things of this nature, so not much courses. The first impression was that um, people in this masters are very highly ambitious and they are also smart and they are also um, talkative so you can have an actual conversation with them. Um, everybody is highly ambition, it, ambitious in the way that they want to do great things and many, aka more than half of the students, want to continue to do a PhD, which is something phenomenally good. Now, 
from what I noticed, about 70% of people are interested in doing machine learning for their masters, which is obviously good news. Uh, many of those, let's say 70% of those in machine learning are interested in doing natural language processing, because this is something which is apparently good in um, Cambridge, but I'm interested in more like general purpose uh, machine learning rather than specializing on natural language processing. So generally, my classmates are highly ambitious and good people, but the general impression about the computer lab is that um, it's friendly, um, so it feels open when you are there. Um, it feels that the research output is very high. Why am I saying that? Is because um, many professors are doing top research and they submit papers at top um, conferences, so that's obviously a good thing. And um, it's a friendly atmosphere, so that's good in the computer science lab. Now, in terms of courses, this week I had two lectures. One was digital signal processing and another one was image processing. And both courses had high quality uh, material in the sense that the slides were, were good. Uh, like they weren't uh, junk. And um, it was well taught. I can't say much about it. And um, the first impression is that the courses are very uh, like well structured and good in their content. So that was with my first week um, in this course. Good impression, good people, much potential. Now for the next week, what I want to do is um, I want to focus starting to um, prepare for the PhD applications here at Cambridge and continue uh, with the PhD applications in other parts because um, the deadline is in the beginning of December and I want to be ready to apply and not um, overstretch myself to finish everything in the last minute. So to prepare for the PhD in Cambridge, um, I found a supervisor. Um, to do um, a thesis in the topic of uh, interpretable uh, machine learning. So trying to give some explainability measures to why uh, the machine learning model does what it does. And um, I found a supervisor interested in this topic, which was excellent. And now I want to do some literature review to you know get to know more about what's happening in the space such that in the next next week I will be able to uh, you know get my overview of what's happening in the field and contribute with uh, a research idea that I will implement in this year. So that's the first thing. I want to read about what's happening in the field to understand where um, I can make a contribution. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to um, talk to some ex and field students um, in the computer science lab because uh, they obviously did this course and um, uh, they might have some you know advice and tips about how to manage the workload um, because the academics told us that uh, it's going to be a packed year with much content um, so I didn't know what to say about that so I would um, like to talk to you know two three four five people such that their collective opinion is uh, my assumption of what's in the reality. So that's the second thing, talk with those students. And the other things which I want to do are mostly uh, preparing for uh, the PhDs. Um, I'm also intending to apply to the US and uh, I have to prepare for a test. It's called the GRE and um, that should take about 10 hours of my week. And um, that's pretty much about it outside of the normal courses and learning for the courses and trying to be up to date with what's happening there. My main core idea is going to be do the literature review and uh, prepare for the PhD applications. And this is um, an overview of uh, how I spend those two weeks. At the next week I plan to give a more, you know, like deep breakdown of how I spent my week in terms of hours, like I devoted that much hours there, that much hours there. But that's about for now, so thank you for watching and um, I'm gonna post every single week about what's happening in this masters. Thank you and see you in the next one.